So when you are, if you are under incandescence, you will, it essentially, your body perceives it as a steady, steady light. So what I would recommend to people is put red incandescence or regular incandescence in your home. And incandescence also have a uh, spectrum of visible light that is much more like what we see outside. It's not yeah. exact, but it's much better. Incandescents also have some degree of infrared. And this is why the government hates them because infrared is heat and it's lost energy, yeah. but that infrared is valuable for humans. So incandescent light bulbs in a way give us nutrients as humans. It's so interesting. And this is the benefit of a red light. You've got a red light panel out there. Yeah. It has red and infrared. Yeah. The benefit of the infrared is that most of us don't spend enough time outdoors. Yeah. And the mitochondria in your whole body use infrared light to make melatonin systemically. Yep. And so if you don't get enough infrared, you are starving your mitochondria systemically, not just in your brain or your eyes. You know, we think of, oh, uh, re infrared light or light affects mitochondria in our brain or suprachiasmatic nucleus, or melatonin is only made in your brain. No, melatonin is made in your whole body, but your mitochondria need infrared light for that. How cool is that? Dude, it's the same thing. It's crazy. We have nitrogen-based, you probably know this, but we have nitrogen-based compounds in our skin. Okay, and when they react, with the blue light spectrum and UVB from the sun, it turns them into NO2. And we yeah. and, and that gets into our bloodstream and increases obviously vasodilation. We literally, it's like a shaker cup. Like it's like the sun hits it, it shakes up all these nitrogen-based molecules, creates nitric oxide, and boom, you've got increased blood flow, you've got more nutrient delivery, you've got, a, and it's all just from a reaction from the sun.